everybody, Mac and Damer here for OCR Kings, and it's that time again for another fireside chat. That's right. We figured we had some things on our mind we wanted to talk about, and actually we wanted to get some input from people who might be watching. So, um, you know, this week we're kind of talking about uh, pickle juice. Yes. I've seen some guys in some videos, right with the jar, they take the lid off and they yes. drink the... Uh, so we were, we were watching a Ragnar video, and uh -huh. it was a pretty, a pretty, looked like a pretty cool group of dudes. Yeah, drinking some Coors Light. Maybe we'll, well, we'll give right. them some views, we'll put the yeah, link down. Right. Put the check link down out. below, check them out, it's, it's kind mm. of fun. But later on, as the miles start to pack up, they're just guzzling pickle juice. So, haven't done it before, right. but... I do carry mustard packets, which right. are also they, pretty gross they, to consume. It, well, the yellow mustard is awful, <laughs> yes. but it does work it for does, cramps. It does it work. really does. So the question is kind of open-ended. It's have you guys or do you carry? There are some pickle-based um, products out there. Packets, yeah. Do you guys carry it? Have like, you guys used it? Have you guys used it during a race? It does it work? It does it work. Yeah. Yes. I think it might be the the vinegar. Or yeah, something. I, I would want like a hot dog to go with it. <laughs> yeah. like, all right. I mean, I mean, definitely with the mustard, which we've done, and we have helped people who've had cramps. Yeah. Along, and it was like, hey, just take this. It was like... It, you just it did it. Yeah, at uh, the Bear Mountain Half Marathon that we did. Definitely check out yes. that video. Super cool. This guy, yes. like Corman, he's handing out <laughs> mustard right. packets. That's right. He put a, a big M for mustard on the guy's forehead. He's been treated. I just, yeah. didn't, I just didn't want him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but it helped that guy, and that it was helps. Cool. I've that used was cool. it. We've used it before. So, so is maybe, pickle juice like equal? A, is it a secret better? weapon? Is it? Yeah. Or is it just? Is, or is it just gross? <laughs> I, we, we don't know. <laughs> but we we would like to know. Please check it in the comments below. All that's, right. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right. So the other one that I wanted to bring up was I was cruising on REI's website. Mm -hmm. There you go. Free plug for you, REI. Yep. But Fast packing came up, and it's actually something I've never heard of. So I don't know if you've checked it out. I so I immediately idea. YouTube fast packing, and right. it's it's everywhere. And the idea is throwing in light and fast, and you're gonna go on a trail, and you're gonna go out, and you're gonna go further than you could go just by hiking. Right. And it's I sometimes it's double, triple, so the miles can be pretty huge. And the idea is is very logistics like what are the Which love. absolute essentials love it. that you would carry for a no resupply just going out and running as far as you can and then you're going to camp out so you need enough supplies to camp out and then return back the following day and that's your fast pack mission so it's like so yeah it was like I, I love how it. much comfort how much essentials necessities so we've never done this before but well, it's something that's we're really cool. We've done sections of the AT. We've done some really long hikes. We've obviously done ultras and a lot of Spartan races and, and everything in between. So, I don't know. It just kind of fits our, our, our MO. MO. Yeah. So, it, it's like... And yes. that's, that's what I like about it, too. It combines maybe an ultra with backpacking. You're going to yeah. go far, and you're going to sleep out there, yeah, that's... and then you're going to do more miles and either come back or go to a pickup location and, and get out of there. Yeah, exactly. So, so then it was like yeah. my comfort. Do I want a pillow? Do I want a this? Do I want a that? Am I going to just like, right. sleep on a on, on a hammock or on the ground? Or right. It was like, what exactly do you carry? Because I don't want to be, I don't want some huge pack. So right. really cool. I'm sure some of you have done it. So uh, comment below and let us know. Let us know your experience. Yeah. Oh, and, and your gear. Let what us do know you your gear it? because... Because we're going to share what we're going to be using. And we're going to give it a try, yes. We're trying from zero, so right. we don't know yet. But we've obviously backpacked before. Right. But this is going to be with running. Yep. You're going to be gotta moving be, fast. Gotta run, so, yeah. Get out there, go as far as you can, I'm expecting, rack out, and go. I'm hoping, expecting, like you would push 20 to 30 miles way past what you would do on a hike. Right. And then turn around, have to, like redo and, and come miles. home or yeah. continue about an equal section right. and then I, like weekend warrior kind of kind of class. absolutely can, and and can we, we do it yes. and, and do we yeah. do we bring pickle juice or not <laughs> that's that's right <laughs> so one other thing that we were kicking around and thinking about is um if you build an obstacle we we've built 
Several we'll options. A bunch. Out. There's tons you, of options. You can find the videos. Sure. There's, there's a bunch of them. And we'll put yep. some links in the description below. But if you had your choice beyond what we've built so far, because we're looking for ideas, and I've got some for what we might want to build next. Yeah. If you could build your own obstacle, something you yes. haven't seen before, what would you build? Regardless of what land, would you build? Regardless of land or where you live. Like, or sure. Whatever. Yeah. You just had an open space, and you could just build whatever right. you want there. Uh, okay. Well. I bought on eBay that giant cargo net. Yes, so that's true. And I bought that, and it's an actual uh, army surplus helicopter yeah, lift it's awesome. cargo net. It weighs a ton. It's huge. <laughs> it weighs, weighs a, a ton. ton. And we've set it up a few times, but I would love some kind of hanging from it, raising Whoa. it high enough that you're hanging from it, and you need to like laterally move your legs and and your arms and your legs are okay. and you're hanging and you could kind of so fall from it you're so going across it or you're going up and over you're well, you're hanging from the bottom of it and it's above you so it's it's 10 12 feet up and you're hanging from it and you need to just traverse one end to the other it was like sort of like an insurance nightmare <laughs> basically <laughs> right. i love it because <laughs> so it's kind dangerous. of it's we we scary. we own we've done it as a a frame mm -hmm. and we've done it but we haven't really done that and i think that would be super cool like, that, yeah set it up and i was like yeah get across it. that would be fantastic yeah. if you needed more of a challenge it was like i go under and then i have to like mount onto the top of it and then i have to cargo net across and it's like all right there's there's a lot of options there holy crap all right yeah. that's scarier than what i thought right. I think. so what's what's your uh your if you build it well I've, i <laughs> would they come i don't know <laughs> you know i had two uh you know i would build something sort of like uh Black Ops from Bonefrog. Yeah. You well, know, yeah. a slightly elevated monkey bars that you have to like climb up to and go across yeah. with the backdrop of a giant American flag. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty yeah. cool. We could use your cargo net at the bottom for people that <laughs> fell off and get captured there. So that, that would be number two. And it, it's pretty neat, too, just to mention we are Bonefrog ambassadors and they are back this year. Yep. So they're going to be out there That's in right. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We have some discount codes. You should check those out in the description below and then right. register at bonefrogchallenge.com. And cool, we'll, we'll see yep. you out there for the revival of Bonefrog, yep. one of the best race franchises early ever. Early September, so uh, check it out. Uh, bonefrogchallenge.com is their website. Mm -hmm. You can see the uh, dates in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So uh, very cool. Absolutely. It's like, well, we'll be there. So. And if I, if I didn't build that obstacle, I would want to build twister yeah uh, twisters Twi a twisters a challenge a, a, a no matter which way you go at it i would like to build it and have it so that i could practice multiple methods wet seen, dry yes. and backwards all we've of these seen, guys that go backwards we've seen hmm. a lot of different methods and some of them work or appear to work really well it was like the only problem is i'm on the obstacle once and i don't yeah. want to fail you don't want to fail so, so I, there's no time so to experiment we've right. already we're already comfortable with our technique, so it's like I'm not going to change it, but I would right. love to. So yeah, you're right. That's that's a uh, that would be a good home build. It would be cool. You could try it out, yep. and then you could try OCR King's uh, brand pickle juice <laughs> and, and drink <laughs> I feel my cramps are and keep it oh, cool in our uh, uh, custom koozie there. <laughs> nothing worse than like warm pickle juice. So it's very <laughs> important to keep it insulated. And, uh, oh, that's <laughs> tough. That's, tough. that's so, a tough sell. That's, that's a hard one. Thanks everybody for humoring me there. So um, anyway, if you have thoughts and you want to share them, please by all means comment below. That's right. And definitely, if Sorry. you haven't already, obstacle like and subscribe. Obstacle ideas, something other than pickle juice. Um, gear recommendations. We love anything. stuff. Keep anything for fast packing. Right. It was like you name it. Uh, we would love to check it out. We'll probably wind up buying it. Sure. <laughs> and and so, just it, yeah. it keeps the conversation yeah. going. And that's the important part with, with subscribing, which we do appreciate very, very much. It helps us to create more content, but also we share all of the knowledge, whatever we come across and whatever people Everyone post else, in the comments yeah. below. If you got something uh, better than what we're talking about, please, please share it. We're it just probably helps doing it wrong. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, yeah, that's, so that's, that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and as far as Bonefrog or any races, we hope to see you out yeah, there. Yeah, just sign up, get mm -hmm. out there. I mean, they're awesome. They're fun. They're challenging. And they're on the calendar, which means 
you've got something to work for and trade and Absolutely. towards. So keep doing that. Keep signing up, and we hope to see you out there. Sure. But until that time, remember, as always, train hard. Have fun.